style. Oh, come on, buddy. We're in the same team. All right, this is our snack training session. In this video, we're going to continue to learn the strikes from snake style. All right, for the snake style, your fingers, your hands need to be strong and also flexible. So you know when to use hand power and also you know when to be soft as well. All right. So, before we start, let's do some workout, the strength training for our hands to make our fingers become stronger. And then when we do the stretch, it will be much easier. All right? So we can use the power. Now, we are gonna do not too many push-ups with our hands. Let's do 100. I'm just joking. 10, okay, 10 will be fine. So use your hands to do push-ups. Body, keep flat. 10 will be all right. Okay, let's give it a go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. That's it. You can relax your fingers. So if you think 10 push-ups, too many for you, you can do less, all right? So don't do, or some of you can do uh, many push-ups, no need to do too many, okay? 10 will be all right. Or if you like, you can do 20, all right? Just relax, okay? Save some energy for later, save some energy. Now, today's stretch <laughs> with the snake style, we're gonna combine two stances. Those two stances are, first one is horse stance, all right? And then next one, <laughs> bow stance. We combine it together. From this way, you can see a start, and then this is a block. The first move is block. It's like someone trying to punch me, or push me, or do the kick towards me. I can use this hand to block. After I block, <coughs> I strike. This side is the same. We do this strike first. Combine softness, <coughs> softness. And then after this, we can combine our kick together. Let's start. Face this way in slow motion. Break the, break the moves down. Let's start. All right, body is naturally straight. I will do it in slow motion, all right? And also make sure your snake hands ready. Put your fingers together, bend your thumb. So when you make the strike, your fingers <coughs> need to be strong. And also, when you do the block, <coughs> soft, combine together, all right? So when you do the snake style, you have to feel like a snake, be like a snake, all right? So you otherwise your moves become too stiff. Do like this. You, you need to know when to be soft. When to add power. And release your power. And let's give it a go. I will do it from different angles so you can see the details. I will do this way first. Body is naturally straight. Left leg open wider. See your hands? Rest up, breathe in. Breathe up. This whole stance. Now, if you cannot do too low, you can stand higher. Crouch to the degree that you feel comfortable. All right. I block with my right hand. So this hand put next to waist. I block with my left hand. Sorry about that. My right hand is here. My left hand block. One more time. Left leg up. Breathe in. Breathe up. Block. Left hand block. Straight. Slowly. From horse stance, change to bow stance. Right? Bow stance. And then I step forward. Your left hand is under your right elbow. Okay? 
and uh, your red elbow. One more time. Someone give you a strap. Give me a strap. Trying to punch me or push me or kick. Depends. I can block. See, block. Strike. So this hand is pressing down. This hand is to cover your inside hand. This hand. Cover and then strike. If you don't want to use a soft defense, you can try to flow with the energy. Flow with the energy. See? You flow. If you find the flow, the move will become smooth. Smooth. Alright, let's give it a go. Left leg out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Blow. Stretch. Go forward. Blow. The core stands on this side. Stretch slowly. Slowly, okay. Blow. Stretch circle. Stretch. I do it slower, okay. Blow soft. Stretch. Finish. Relax. I'll just do four times in a row. You can do many, depending on you, okay? Because I don't want to be out of the screen, so you cannot see me. I try one more time. Level leg up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Blow. Stretch. Slowly. Blow soft. Stretch. Soft. Soft. Finish. All right. Let's add the power. This time, add the power. When you do the stretch, don't, don't forget to pronounce sound. Now, power and the softness together. So right after I stretch, the next move becomes soft. Let's give it a go. Slow motion. Breathe in. Slowly, okay. Slowly. Block. Stretch. Block. Stretch. Block. Stretch. Block. Stretch. All right. Set the views. Block, sorry, block. You can see the circle, right? A block circle, stretch. Block, stretch. Block, stretch. Block, stretch. Oh, finish. Bring your chip back. All right, next one we're gonna combine with our kick together. You can give it a relax, okay? Relax your fingers, your arms. We come out, kick together. Yeah, breathe in. Breathe out. You can do a few more times, okay? Relax, relax. So when we're gonna combine the kick together, the move slightly different. 
I will show you. Now the kick we're gonna do is called snap kick. Snap kick, which means toes pointing straight. Toes pointing straight. It's not hooked. Toes pointing straight. I will snap. So for the snap kick, you no need to kick too high. Kick with your about your hip level will be fine. Now let's give it a go. So your body is, uh, as always, naturally straight. Start is the same. Left leg up. Ready? Oh. So here we block. First, strap. And then we do the kick. Snap kick. And then you block. You see that? Strike, kick, block, strike, kick, block, strike, finish here. Now we don't combine them together, we don't combine them together yet. If you combine them together is block, strike, kick, you flow through. Okay, flow through. Let's try one more time in details and also in slow motion. You can see. All right. Inhale. Exhale. Soft. Stretch. Kick. His balance. Flow. Kick, blow, stretch, kick, blow, stretch, finish. All right, and the feeling into it, feeling is you feel it, like you feel it, you feel it. Let's give it a go. Slow motion with my back view. So that's our snake stretch for this training session. And remember, practice makes better and perfect, and also practice makes natural. If you have any questions, please leave your comment down below. Happy training, happy life. We'll see you next time.